In this video we're going to make a start on assembling the flywheel and clutch assembly. Alright so just first of all I'll sort of explain how this all um, fits together. So these are all the, the old parts. The parts that I'm going to replace are the actual clutch um, piece and also the diaphragm which is kind of like a spring. So the way it sort of sits together, you have this backing plate, you then have the actual clutch uh, friction material, the clutch plate that sits in there like that. Then the flywheel goes on top. Uh, then the next thing that will happen is the flywheel actually gets um, bolted down to the end of the crankshaft. And then this um, diaphragm goes on top. Sort of like that. First I need to put the backing plate on. Um, there are some markings on here. Uh, there's a letter A over here. And to make sure that this gets bolted onto the flywheel in the same position that it originally was, because things, things are balanced, you need to make sure that this is in the right spot. So the hole up the top where the timing marks are that's where um, this tab would stick through. So we'll just sit that on there like that for now. And then we'll get the um, clutch plate ready to install. So this is the kit that I um, purchased to service this clutch. So it comes with um, a new clutch release bearing. I'll, I'll do that last. Uh, it comes with the actual um, clutch friction plate and also a diaphragm and let's not lose that. Um, that's the lubricant which will actually go on the splines before that gets inserted. So that's the first thing I'll need to do. Um, this actually has some instructions on here, gearbox side. Um, if this was a A series engine, for example, being installed in something like a Morris Minor, um, the gearbox is actually coming away from the engine. So it, it seems like, because it, it's in a, mi in a Mini or a Moak in this case, the gearbox is underneath, don't install it. That way, the part of the splines has to go inside. You'll see when I insert it. Right, next we need to get the flywheel on. Um, I've got this, the crankshaft and the position of the motor is currently at top dead centre. So that means that top dead centre, these flywheel markings should be pointing to the top.
Okay, so it took a bit of effort, but I finally got that bolt um, torqued down to 150 newton meters. Um, I found it easier. It's it's not because of the um, the amount of torque, the torque setting, but rather than it's it's difficult to um, torque that up because the motor will move. I placed it on the ground, it made it a bit easier. But I used a long um, pole, which I was able to put the end of the socket into it just to give me a bit more leverage and then just put my weight on that to keep it, stop it from moving and then torque it up to the correct setting. Um, the other thing too, I just used a bit of tape to hold that chisel into the spot there to stop it moving. All right, so next I need to just um, fix up the lock tab. Okay, next we are ready to install the diaphragm and also the driving straps. Um, just so you can sort of see how these get together. Uh, you start off with this bolt. This bolt has a dowel section on there. Um, there's a locking tab. You have two driving straps and then a washer underneath. You'll notice that um, that dowel section goes through all of those. So these washers will sit flat like that. So they will be, there's three of those and they get sort of positioned here. Um, the shorter bolts are used on this end here. The longer bolts are used to here to attach to the, the backing plate, uh, the driving plate, but that is done. I can sort of, I'll hand tighten these, get these into position. Um, it's important that when you put these on, make sure the dowel, or they're all sort of seated like that and the dowel is coming through. If there's any gaps, that can cause problems with um, clutch shutter. So just get, I want to just get them all hand tightened on first. Okay, so those driving straps are hand tightened on now. The next step, I need to install the diaphragm just get that out of its um, wrapping. Now on this diaphragm you will notice that there is a marking with letter A on there. That needs to correspond to this point here on this particular driving clutch driving plate. That was that um, point was marked A. So I'm just going to make sure they line up. And then similar type of bolt. So these are a longer bolt and they will go through this diaphragm, through both of those straps, and then into the bolt hole on that backing plate. So this is where you need to get everything aligned. Okay, so now we can get started on the, um, the clutch cover. Um, bearing carrier needs a new clutch release bearing installed. Uh, that's the original one. That's a bit worn. Um, I've got another second hand one here. That one seems to be in a bit better condition. I just need to clean up that old grease um, and then fit the bearing to that end. So this bearing came with the, um, the clutch kit and the diaphragm. So that 
gets installed on the end. 